Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasa ala. Koholoyim la yahawa bashim yahawa shai ba Hashem. Chachachadash, double honors to our apostles, elders, the great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Achwaf, that's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And as you can see, this lady right here, she appears to be a Needamite, um, a so called white woman, but you can't go by skin color or looks. When it comes to Israelites, because it's a um, it's a DNA thing. If you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are one of the children of Israel. Um, um, Jacob's name was changed to Israel or Yashal in the Hebrew, which means that he is the prince of the power. So if you come from one of his 12 sons, then you are an Israelite. But if you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Esau, then you're an Edomite. Now I'm thinking that this lady right here, she might be an Edomite, just strictly on the strength of her jail sentence. She got some time, but she didn't get the type of time that you would normally get, you know, or I would say as far as if a so-called black woman had done the same crime, you know. So let's just get a little bit of it. And, and, and it's crazy, man, that women will use these children to really mess with the man, man. You know, if you hate your, your, your spouse, man, why, why would you take it out on your on your seed? Why would you take it out on your children? OK, it says no, no, no. Woman lashes out in court during sentencing for two for murdering her two daughters to to spite her Navy pilot ex-husband. So she pissed at him about something and killed her, you know, killed her, her, her daughters, man, which is just crazy as hell. Anyway, but that's the this is the days and times that you're living in. So remember that when you're out in public and you're dealing with people, man, it, it's best to um, kind of take the low, take the L, you know, Instead of getting into arguments with people in public or, you know, the stare down and, uh, you know, the flipping off the bird, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what mind state people are in these days. You got so-called white women shooting up damn schools now. And, and that shows you how far America has really fallen when, when they're women. Because they, they always used to, you know, this, they used to be the saying. It, it's still you hear it here and there. You could tell a nation by their women. And when your women are running around shooting up goddamn schools and killing kids and because see this never would have happened 30, 40, 50 years ago, you know, when the so-called white woman had the house with the white picket fence, you know, with the cherry pie and the window sill cooling off, you know, dinner, you know, was being served, you know, the, the dad get off from work, you know, he gets served his dinner. He's sitting there and he's got his leg crossed, uh, reading his newspaper, smoking his pipe or cigar. And, 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 you know, just everything is just good. You know, the dog is laying there on the floor. You know, he gets up, wags his tail and, you know, walk along with you. You know, them, them nice walks in the yard. No, this place is through. It's none of that no more, man. The women of this nation are, are out of their goddamn minds, man. And I, <laughs> I know some, you know what I'm saying? I know some women that used to be completely sane and now are completely out of their fucking mind, man. Like for real, for real. I'm talking about in literal darkness, straight up. Like, you know, just really just you think that they was like, what happened to you? You know, you used to be so, you know, intelligent and, and, and joyful. And now it's just like, you know, motherfucker bugging out and talking to themselves. I'm talking about for real. So it's a lot of different stuff that's going on in these Americas because this is a wicked place, man. This is Babylon the Great. That's why the scripture talks about coming out of her, coming out of this place, because it'll destroy you with a sore destruction. It will, man. You can even see countries that's overseas, eastern countries or whatever, you know, that used to have it together somewhat. Now they're losing it because they're trying to be Americans. Look at the women in those other countries, man, that's running around in Iran. They don't want to wear their hair coverings no more. They want to shake their asses. They want to have on tights and, and do what the American women are doing. And, and, and it's just out of control. Look at the people all that's protesting all over the world. What are they? Pro the, most of the protesters are women protesting over women's rights and, and we want to do what we want to do they don't understand it that that just it shatters a nation they don't understand that because they're drinking of that wine of babylon you see but let's get a little bit of this it says veronica youngblood who what a name murder her daughters brooklyn youngblood five years old and sharon castro 15 years old now the castro i don't know might be sounding like and hey, it could be um who know could be israelites 
It says jurors sentenced Veronica Youngblood up to 78 years in prison. That's the reason why I'm thinking this is an Edomite. Because 78 years in prison for killing two people is no time at all. And, and whatever state she is, she's in. And if they have a death penalty, she should be put to death. It says she received 36 years each for the two counts of first degree murder and three years each for two counts of use of firearm and commission of murder. OK, a judge will hand down a formal sentence. OK, it says Sharon in Brooklyn are two children that should be alive today. Commonwealth attorney Stephen Descano said in a statement, I have an 11 year old daughter who has her whole life ahead of her and it guts me to imagine her life cut short. This case is terrible. It's a tr terrible tragedy. And I hope today's verdict brings a measure of healing for the family. OK, woman, Virginia, Virginia woman and convicted murderer. Veronica Youngblood, 37, was kicked out of court by, for lashing out during her sentencing hearing for killing her two daughters. No, 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 she shouted. Youngblood reportedly kept ye yelling even as the judge cleared the room. Well, I'm, I'm, shit, hell, I'm, what the hell are you yelling about? Uh, you ask me, your ass should have at least, I mean, if they weren't gonna kill your ass with the death penalty, you, she should have at least got life. 78 years? Man, it's, man, pff, come on, man. It's Jake out here in jail longer than that. Ain't killed nobody. <laughs> For real. It's so-called blacks in jail. Right now, ain't killed nobody. Got far more time. Than, that's just like that guy that just got off. Um, they, well, You know, he was exonerated. He, they, 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 they gave his ass 400 years, man. He had 400 years for, for being a, supposedly a getaway driver. And come to find out, it wasn't even he, him that was um, that done the crime. And I think he done like 40 years, man. He done like 40 years in jail, man, for just supposedly they said they thought he was a getaway driver to a crime. He killed nobody. But see, that's what I was saying about why I'm thinking this might be an Edomite, because these Edomites, they don't get the type of time that um, so-called blacks get for the same crimes. All right. It says um, she fatally shot. Let me see. Jurors in Fa Fairfax County convicted young blood on Wednesday for two counts each of first degree murder and felony firearm use. She fatally shot Brooklyn and Sharon on August 5th, 2018 at their apartment. And see, come on, man. 2018 and it's almost 2024. See, Esau Eden with the drag out, man, with these damn crimes, man. You know these people being done these crimes. You got all the evidence in the world and you dragging these damn cases out for years, man. Yeah, motherfuckers sitting on death row, man, 40, 50, 60 years before they give him the business, man. Don't make no sense. Okay, it says, um... Okay, it says, Brooklyn was shot in the head and died at the scene. So the five-year-old was shot in the head. Sharon, despite suffering gunshot wounds to her chest and back, managed to call 911 and reveal that her mother shot her. She died at the hospital. Prosecutors say that at the time Sharon Castro was calling police, Youngblood left a message for her ex-husband, Ron Youngblood, telling him that she shot their children and that she hated him, according to prosecutors at the trial. See that? So she gave up that. She didn't straight told you got all the evidence that she shot and killed the children. Why she, you know, only getting 78 years. That's why I was saying about it. I know that this got to be an Edomite. It says the suspect, 33-year-old Veronica, Veronica, Veronica Youngblood was found in whatever county this is. Uh, uh, police knocked at the door. According to the prosecutor, she killed her children to get revenge on her ex, who was planning to move to Missouri with their young daughter, younger daughter. This person wants to manipulate. This person wants to lie into chaos or for this person's personal gain. Miss Youngblood is spiteful, selfish, vengeful, and calculated. Of course she is. Authorities said defendant Youngblood purchased a gun nine days before the killings, intending to use it on her daughters. That's crazy. She gave them sleeping pill gummies before the incident. God damn. So that's how you know this is a Needamite, man. That, that right there says it all. It says Youngblood pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. There you go. Of course, that's what they all, they, they use that every single time. The defense brought up allegations that relatives subjected her to physical, even sexual abuse when she was growing up in Argentina. So she could be an Israelite. She could be an Israelite. 
pre um, pregnant at 16, she ended up going into sex work to take care of her younger sister and raise Sharon. The defense reportedly said she met Ron Youngblood through sex work and the couple married in 2009. Brooklyn was born in 2012. Yeah, so this is a, a total twist up here. Veronica testified about her experiences, suffering poverty and abuse. Look, they ain't, they ain't got nothing to do with no killings, man. It says her sister Maria testified about defending young blood practicing a religion called Umbanda. Umbanda, whose believers thought they could communicate with the dead. Hey, that might have been a fucking problem right there. Because, hey you, hey, you can't be out here, especially if you're an Israelite. Hey, you're dealing with these false gods, even if you're not an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? But if you're an Israelite, man, hey, the Lord, hey, he's not dealing with that. He said he'll have no other gods before him, right? It says, um, I don't live in a world where there is black and white. Uh, I live in a world where there are a lot of shades of gray, and that's what we're seeing here. Uh, okay, Ron, who had deployed overseas during the relationship, sat in court Thursday as Veronica testified to blame them for their daughter's deaths. Why did you leave me? Defendant Youngblood called out to him. Man, described the man. They said to describe the man as a stoic. Why did you leave me alone with the girls? None of this would have happened. Ron Youngblood testified about the pain he experienced losing his daughters. He spoke of the memorials he built for them in Virginia. Okay, anyway, children are true miracles, the memorial said. Jurors were set to continue deliberating. Okay, anyway, you get it. You get it. But she could have been a... Um, a I don't think she's... I don't, I don't think this was an Israelite, man. I, I just can't see the time. I, I just can't see the time, man. Matter of fact, let's get the scripture, though. But then again, like I said, again, it's not a skin color thing. She could be an Israelite from one of the Northern Kingdom tribes or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It just so happened to catch a break, so to speak, or some mercy because it was her ass should be put to death, man. Straight up. You, you, uh, just because a person leaves. And this is why it's so important to be strong in Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. Because if a person leaves you, man, you can't just lose your goddamn mind, man. You can't just, you just, you just, just, just go all out and just, just everything. You just throw everything away, man. Everything away. All because somebody left your ass or you couldn't deal with rejection or something. Come on, man. This is why it's so important that we pray to Yahweh by Shemiah Washai, man, on a day-to-day -day basis for strength, man, and um, mercy, you know, and um, that um, you'll keep us with a sane mind. But that's a, that's a fruit of the spirit, man, having a um, power, love, and a, and, and a sane mind, man, roughly paraphrasing, man. Because a lot of people don't have a sane mind out here. That's just like the lady they, that shot up the school in Tennessee. Supposedly she had head problems, you know. She she was, you know, um, you know, on whatever medication or whatever she whatever was going on with her. She runs off in a damn school and and, and shoots everybody up, you know, shoots up six kids, three adults and three kids, and then gets shot up her damn self, you know. But there's a lot of mental people running around out here, man. Cause I was just um, speaking with my uncle earlier about the, the governor here where I stay about, it was like 25 years ago, when um, he shut down like about 25 mental health facilities. And, and, and they just let those people go and hit the streets. Those people, man, they ain't had nowhere to go. I don't know what the hell he was thinking about. I don't know what the, I mean, but those people hit the streets, man, and a lot of crime turned up. And then with 25 facilities like that being closed with the shit that's going on with these people, I mean, it's like it's a shortage of people getting the help that they need, especially in Jake neighborhoods, man, because Jake running through the hood crazy as hell. I be seeing them, man. I'm talking about young Jake. I never used to see young people out and about, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, 17, 16, 17, 18, you know, the 25, 26, you know, in, in the time of their life where they should be vibrant. And going out and doing certain things. And they just hanging out on the corner, man. Bobbing back and forth and shit, talking to themselves, man. Like, you know. But anyway, let me get this real quick. I wanted to just grab this one quick scripture. Because I'm really thinking that that's an Edomite because of the time that they gave her. Because they only gave her. She she gave them sleeping pill, gummy sleeping pills, right? She done drugged them first off. You done shot the, 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 the baby girl in the head point blank, basically. You know. You shoot the, 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 the oldest girl, you know, you shoot her up and she just so happened to just be alive long enough to tell the police that it was you. So they know it's her. You know full well that lady should have got more than 70 years, 78 years, man. But here we go right here. Let me start at verse three. Psalm 73 and three. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. 
for there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued like other men. And that's why I was thinking this was an Edomite, because so-called white people, they're not in trouble like other men. They're not plagued like the other races, and especially not like the so-called blacks. Because like I said, had a so-called black woman done this particular crime, come on, man, you know goddamn well, they, 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 they had it out for her, for real. They gave her all the business. So that's why I'm thinking this might be an Edomite, you know? Because it's not even about that look, man. That look, she could look like an a, a, a Edomite all she wants. You know, or, or, you know, but if she had been an Israelite, I don't give a shit. If she looked like Sharon Stone, that spirit stands out. She the God, all that, all the curses, man, that, that comes with um, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Straight up, man. So I just wanted to just touch on this, man. So just like I said again, man, keep on praying. Beware of your surroundings. The brother, he went into a beautiful video today, too, talking about, um, you know, being around like-minded people. See, when you're in, the, in this truth, you in the scriptures, you know, you want to be around like-minded people, man. You want to be around people that, you know, that, that are into this truth as well, it's be to the best of your ability. Hey, hey, you know, you're going to come across people. You got family members and stuff like that that's not... You know, you may have an old friend or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But overall, you don't want to be influenced by them, man. Because them motherfuckers have got all kinds of shit going on, man. And they'll get you involved in some shit that you don't want to be in. You know, or <laughs> straight up. It's just that simple, man. Like, for real, for real. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Call me inshallah.